Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I'm here with a colouring catch up today. How are we all over in YouTube land, whether you're colour tube, book tube or anything else tube? So as I mentioned, I wanted to do something from the Terry Pratchett colouring book, The Disc World. So I've chosen this picture of Hamish, who is one of the Knack McFeagles. Um, and next to it, there's a little bit of text from the actual book that says, uh, explains the picture and it says Hamish tumbled through the sky and then something ballooned above him and the fall became just a gentle floating like thistle down. He landed in a pair of Tiffany's pants, the ones with the rosebud patterns settled on top of him. So there we go. So that's the picture we're going to start colouring today. I will probably try and do the whole picture for you over a couple of episodes if that's okay with you. It's entirely up to you, I don't mind. So um yeah, so I've picked out two blues so far for the the Fiegel because the Fiegels are blue. Um, the Fiegels are Pixies. And I'm going to be using, um, at the moment, my Derwent Colour Softs. So I'm just going to sharpen up the ones I'm using. Now I did pick another two blues, one for the sky. And I think one for the... And knickers. Yes. I think I'd use blue on the knickers. Do we want that one? And um yeah, baby blue. 314, that's that one, I believe. Yes. Just so there we are. There we are. Got some blues out now. So how are you? I hope you're okay. Um have you been colouring anything exciting lately? I mean, obviously I haven't done much, but, you know, obviously I did the other day. I did the Halloween one, and we will be doing a lot more colouring chats and colouring catch up soon. I'll be filming another one in the early part of next week. So let's just zoom in. We're going to start on her pants, which is his parachute. <laughs> I don't know why. I can't remember. I'd have to reread the book. Um, so, uh a little update for you. Um, I will be finishing work on the 1st of December if that will be my last day. So I will be able to do Vlogmas. Yay! So I will be vlogging every day um, from the 1st to, uh, to the 25th inclusive. inclusive. Um, various things that I'll be doing will be, I will be doing things like I will have an advent calendar and not a just a chocolate one. I'm thinking of getting a makeup one. Um, I will be uh, putting up the Christmas decorations and Christmas tree on, that will probably be on the 2nd of December or I'm hoping. I mean, I'm normally one that puts it up quite late, but I guess I'm quite in the mood. I want to do it early. Um, there will still be our colouring chats and catch ups. There will be our book wrap-ups and um, Friday reads. I don't think there'll be any hauls. I'll be taking you with me when I go to various places. Like if I go Christmas shopping in, in Newport, I'll take you with me. And if I go, well, I am going to the Christmas party at work. So you'll be coming with me then as well. So I'm really looking forward to, oh it's gone really out of focus, I'm not sure why, to doing Vlogmas. This is the first time I've been able to do it because I normally work um, rotational shifts of either, well at the moment it's 8, 4, 6, 10, but it used to be 8, 4, 9, 5, 6, 10. So, and I wouldn't be filming in my office. Uh, but I can film at home and obviously I can film if I'm not working. I would probably be going out with my friends for lunch and maybe we might go somewhere there's a Christmas fair um, it, uh, they have a Christmas market in Caerphilly so and that's on a Saturday so I might take you to that it depends if that's the weekend my brother comes home because usually if it's that weekend we pick him up from the airport or from Newport train station we don't ever get a chance to go there so 
So are you going to be doing Vlogmas or are you just going to carry on with your normal videos if you are a uh, YouTuber? Because, you know, I'd like to know because I'm going to try and watch as many Vlogmases as I can. So Jen over at Reading with Pugs is forming a book club, which I think is going to be very exciting. I hope to join. It, it depends on what the books are. Um, so I might do some of them. I might not do all of them. Um, I haven't watched her video yet because I just haven't had time. I will be watching it as soon as I can. Just because why not? I've got quite a lot of videos I want to, to catch up on. That's the problem when you're making videos. You don't have as much time to watch them. And when you're uploading them as well, it's very difficult to watch. Well, it is over here because the bandwidth isn't very good. So I do tend to find that if I'm uploading a video um, on my computer and watching uh, one on my, say, television or my phone, it does keep buffering that's the wrong one and never mind I'll go over there I'll probably need it so you can't see it but I have got pretty much every single color oops pencil I own here I have my Marco Renoir my, my Renoirs Marco Ruffines my um Faber Castell classics as well as a few polychromos I have my uh, Duent obviously because I'm using that one at the moment I have my feelers, I have my Prismacolors, they are all here in case I need, I don't know what's wrong with this one, a specific colour. So yeah. So I'm looking forward to Christmas. Um, I won't be starting any Christmas colouring until December because I think as much as I want to get started on Ruth Sanderson's Grayscale book, I want to A, watch some videos about Grayscale colouring because um, I've never done it before and B, I just think if I start Christmas too early on the, the colouring, I'm going to get bored of it really, really quickly and I don't want that because that would be a shame. But of course, I'll be doing colouring catch-ups um, as part of my vlogmas. I did say I wasn't going to be buying any colouring supplies, but actually that's a lie. Um, and the reason is, and I'll show you the reason, I've started colouring it in Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. And I just had to go and get that from the uh, other part of the room. Um, so yeah, I started colouring Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. And I started do, you, doing the cover, you know, the title page. And I've been using my glitter gel pens. Now, the pack of gel pens I got were 50 gel pens for £5 from Hobbycraft which they still sell and I've already I've finished off one of these yellowy gold ones and I've also used up the black one and the only problem is with the yellow gold ones there were two but with the black um, pen there's only one in the set so because I haven't finished that and there's a lot of black on that page I want to do I'm going to go and buy a couple of packs of those gel pens so I won't be hauling them straight away but uh, that was a lie about not buying anything else because I need my gel pens for, to do that and it's looking very very pretty so a bit of backstory on the knack macfeagles they are the pixies they're kind of like the scottish characters if you read the books they have a scottish accent i think they first appeared in the wee free men which was a disc world for younger readers also introduced the character of Tiffany Aiken, a young witch, a trainee witch. Um, 
and they sort of have a mind of their own. In fact, one of the sayings in the book is, if you leave a glass of milk out for a feagle, they'll break in and, drink, and, and steal everything in your liquor cabinet. So, <laughs> um, if you're interested in any Terry Pratchett stuff and you're into the disc world, I got this book. It is available on Amazon, but I they didn't have it in stock when I went to get it. So I ordered mine um, from the Disc World Emporium. Um, it was a bit more expensive than from Amazon, but I wanted to get it. So I ordered it from from Discord Emporium. This is a shop, a physical shop in Wiltshire. And the actual town, I can't think of the name of. But I will. Um, is twinned with Ankh-Morpork, which of course is the main location for Discworld uh, stories. Um, but what I will do is if you're interested in any Discworld memorabilia, and that includes the books, as well as notepads, colouring books, t-shirts, figurines, and so on, I will leave a link to the Discworld Emporium down in the notes below. So if you want to go and have a look, you can check out their, their website. It's really good. So... It is a really good website and they sell some fantastic stuff and they were they I mean it's all approved um merchandise, it's not rip-off stuff, it's approved by uh, was approved by Terry Pratchett, it's now approved by the estate. So it's it's um a lovely lovely website. I mean as you know Terry Pratchett is one of my favourite authors. And I'm currently rereading the Discworld series, among other things, because it's it's still November and I'm still trying to do non-fiction November. It's very difficult. I must admit, I am looking forward to finishing so I can have a couple of months of rest before the little one arrives. Especially as it's just before Christmas and I can get my house in order for Christmas and get everything sorted out and tidy and clean. And I can enjoy it as well. Spend time with my brother that's coming over from New Zealand. He lives over there now. They both do. I'm going to sharpen this again. Lovely. Ooh. And one of the reasons I'm finishing quite early is just I have been so exhausted. I just want to sleep all the time. This growing a human lark, it, it does take it out of you. Fair play to all the mums out there. You don't realise how hard it is until you actually go through it. <laughs> and this is only the beginning, but hey. So we're working on the parachute, which is a pair of Tiffany's underpants. The one with the rosebuds on it. <laughs> it really is a silly set of books, but they are fantastic. I'm not I'm not actually very near to the the, the wee free men yet, and sadly. I've only read that one once, I can't wait to get back onto it. So how are you doing with your Christmas shopping? Have you started yet? Have you finished? I know some people have probably finished because some people are really, really organised. I'm not that organised. I have started. Um, I have got presents for my mum and my dad. I know what I'm getting Paul and Chris usually sorts himself out this, this is a, just the way that we do things in our house it's very bizarre um, and then I just we need to get something for Paul's mum I don't have a lot of people to buy Christmas presents from it's great normally I'd spend all the extra money on books and colouring supplies obviously I'm not this year because I need to save some money for the new year so when I'm not uh, 
at work and I hit nil pay and half pay, I can uh, still go out and uh, take the baby out somewhere. I don't have to worry too much. But, uh, so yeah, so I'm doing alright with Christmas shopping. I haven't done any wrapping yet. <sighs> You might see that in one of my uh, Vlogmas videos because uh, my nobody in my family watches the videos, I don't think. Well, my mum and dad are pretty much technophobes anyway, so they wouldn't. The only one likely to be would be my brother Chris, but he's the other side of the world at the moment. So who knows, maybe one day. I keep saying to myself I should make a list of things to talk about in these videos um, and then I never do. So although it's only November, have you been singing Christmas songs yet? I know I have started. I know the Christmas adverts are all out. Um, loads them out at the moment and uh, it kind of makes me want to sing Christmas songs and uh, have been singing a bit of Christmassy stuff, along with annoying my work colleagues by going, "There's only so so many days to Christmas." No, not all of them are annoyed by it. Some of them actually like it. Christmas Eve. So it's taken a long time. I mean, we've done 17 minutes, and we're still only on her knickers. So the Knack McFeagles are generally blue with red hair. This one hasn't actually got a lot of hair. He's got a little bit and he's got a bit of a beard. But he's a bit follically challenged. I might give that one a bit of a rest for now and do something else. So I picked out um, some colours for their face, for his face. And they were the darker ones. I picked out indigo and prussian blue and I can't remember which one is the darkest I think prussian blue is the lighter colour excuse me hiccuping it's been a very very long day it's been a long week so here's his little face and his hands so we'll start up on his hands so I'm just going to give a light dusting of um, this prussian blue over him Like I said, I've got almost, I've got pretty much all the colours now from Colour Soft. The only one I'm waiting for is white grey. And it's probably at my mum's. Because at the moment, because I'm not in, because I'm out all day at work, um, all my post, packages from Amazon, anything I order, they actually go to my mum's house. So I will probably uh, change that soon. He's actually wearing gloves. And I've given him blue hands. So that's not very good, is it? I'll give him a different colour. <clears throat> you know what I mean about being so tired? I'm so tired, I can't see what I'm doing. So we'll just take that out. And what we'll do is we'll probably give him some black gloves or some brown gloves. Oh, the top of that. Well, that's fine. This is a brilliant eraser. However, I will do his feet and his arms. So you can see he's got little tattoos. There, and we'll give him some red underarm hair as well when we get to his underarms. Oh, see, I'm so tired. But that's the thing with colouring, you do make mistakes, it's what you do with them. I will sort that out later. Mm. So I've got lots more videos to share with you. I've got some more uh, flip throughs. They'll be coming up in the next day or so because next week I'm on other than Monday when I'm actually off and might film another colour in chat, catch up chat. Um, I'm at work and I'm on a, a six shift finish. So what I try and do is film some pre-record some videos so that I don't have 
days, too many days where there's nothing going up because I don't want that. So I, like for instance, I pre-record the Marilyn Scrapbook book tours. Um, so that I've got, um, I think I've got three of those to go up. So I'll be putting up at least one of those next week along with some flip throughs. And that's the point. So I, I film them, I say for instance I film this. I would normally film something else at the same, well not at the same time, but uh, around the same time. So either before or after this. So on Monday when I'm filming, Monday's colour and chat catch up. I will probably also film um, a couple of the Marilyn scrapbook tours. I will be doing some more Marilyn um, book spotlights. I just need to make a list of the ones I've actually done. So I've done a few, not a horrendous amount, but I have done a few. So I want to just make sure that I don't go over the ones I've done or if I've reviewed it. So for instance, I did the a video of books I think you should own, photo books you should own. I wouldn't necessarily want you to want to feature the same books again. So I'll have a look at that this weekend. This isn't going to be stickled, by the way. Not the Knack McFeagles. I don't think they'd appreciate glitter. The dwarves you could use a lot of gold on. Just, uh, whether or not it will when I get to them. <laughs> So as you can see, this has taken a little while to do. So I'm going to go and have some dinner once I finish this. Paul's out in Cardiff today with his friends. So I don't know when this is going up. It might go up Sunday, he'll be in then. Um, Again, I have to pre-record these when he's not around, so <laughs> that's why it'll be a lot easier for me to film when I'm on my maternity leave. Only because it's not fair on him to have to sit there and be quiet while I'm chatting away. And of course, the, sometimes if I do it quite late in the evening, by the time I've edited it, it's too late to upload. So, I pre-do them. Ones I don't pre-do, as I don't always pre-do uh, colour and catch up, so I sometimes put them up the same day. Um, obviously things like Friday Reads, because obviously they go up on a Friday. I don't pre-record that because I don't know where I am in my reading schedule, so um, that obviously is done as and when I need to do it, so... And of course, when I do Vlogmas, those will be uploaded on the day they're filmed. So even if I finish filming at 8 or 9 o'clock and it's a long video, I will, um, I will do it straight away. I'll uh, edit it together and then I will, I will upload it on thing, even if it goes past quite late because it's always, it's still going to be the 1st of December somewhere in the world. Even if it's gone midnight here, it's still probably going to be American. So. so I'm just giving him a bit of blue. Yeah. Yes, the Nack McFeagles. Blue pixies, pixies. Mm. I am absolutely exhausted. <laughs> it's terrible. Feels like it's been a very long week and I had Wednesday off as well. I wasn't in work on Wednesday. So it is very, very odd when you have a day off. And you still feel like 
you've been up all the time without any sleep. I'm going to go back over his feet in a minute. I know I've gone out the lines there, but that doesn't really matter, does it? Let's be honest. It's like they say, they, the books are your, your colouring books and there is no right and there is no wrong. And I completely, I totally agree with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Um, any colouring way, excuse me. I think that um, you colour the way that makes you happy. Um, that I, I'm one of those people who find it very hard to colour blue people. I'm not, I'm not particularly OCD or anything like that, but just because I think that, you know, it's not real. But because this is a fantasy book, it's a lot easier. Now, I've just taken a lighter blue, which is cloud blue, and I'm just blending it all in together with that lighter colour. So, I'm not particularly doing it, it's just giving it a bit of thing definition I'll probably go over it again I'm not one for doing a lot of blending and layering I just do it till I think it looks right and sometimes I don't do it at all so like um, Anne at A Colourful Life would say so this is not a tutorial channel there are colourists who are far better colourists than myself out there doing that like Petter Hewitt and uh, Dee Dee that um, you don't need me to show you how to colour. Go watch one of those guys because they are awesome. And I watch them if I'm thinking, oh, this looks interesting. No, this is something I want to learn. I'll go and I'll go and watch them. I do watch most of their channel, most of their videos anyway. But if I watched every single video that every single YouTuber uploaded that I, I subscribe to, I would never get off the TV or on the um, off the, the phone. I watch a lot of them on my phone in bed. Um, sometimes if I watch them on TVC I can't comment, I have to be on the phone or the, the laptop. But uh, I noticed that poor Anne over at A Colourful Life had had somebody make a comment about her using expensive pencils because she was using the Holbeins which were a gift, she didn't buy them herself, she was gifted them when there are starving people in the world and that it's wrong. But if we all felt like that about everything, we would never do anything. We would never buy anything. We wouldn't live. Um, we all have our own specific charities that I think we, we would um, support and uh, donate to. But the way I look at it is, I mean, I can't afford the Holbeins. I would love them, but I can't afford them. But th just because I can't afford them, do I begrudge Anne having them? No, of course I don't. I love watching her colour. I love watching the way she um, layers, the way she works. She's a very, very fun lady. And I just think that... she was gifted though she didn't buy them but if she did it's nobody's business because it's like I said I, I work for a living I work very hard for my money I pay all my bills on time and I work hard I donate to charity as and when I'm able especially if it's something I really believe in um, I've given up time to charity. I work in a contact centre and over here we have something called Comic Relief. I'm sure I think you have it in the States, but we definitely have it in the UK. And we, the contact centre I work in every year, does the phones for either Comic Relief or Sports Relief, depending on which one it is for that particular year. And I have given up my evening to man the phones for sport relief and that's after doing a full eight hour shift as well it's not instead of working my eight hour shift it's as well as so it's not like I don't give up my time to uh, help charities or do things for charity I do so if I want to spend 300 pounds on a set of very expensive colored pencils and they are 
so the, the video just stopped I don't know how long it was stopped we were talking about the whole binds and I was saying that um I give up time I've given up time in the past to um take calls for comic relief or sports relief take donations um and we when we do that it's like uh seven till midnight so and that's on a friday normally and that's after an eight hour day so i will have worked an eight hour day and then i'll be doing five hours for for charity for free um and giving up my time yes the company i work for make it a lot of fun they put on food and drinks for us so that we've got something to to eat and drink while we're there to keep us going but it's still hard to work eight hours um, have a quick break and then come back so what I was saying was about if I wanted to buy the Holbeins I work hard I work overtime when it's available though obviously not for much longer because I won't be there because I'll be on leave um so there's my Nat McFeel he's looking pretty good so if I if I want to spend my money on Holbein pencils I'm gonna you know it's my money it's it's nobody's business. I have for filming. I use a DSLR. I don't use a phone. Oops. I've never used a phone. I, I'm not very good with using phones for things other than the internet and phoning and playing a few games. I, I watch videos on it, but I don't film on my phone. I take photographs on my phone, but I use a DSLR camera that costs six, seven hundred pound. I worked for that money just because I'm decided I'm choosing to use that camera instead of a phone doesn't make it any worse than me, any worse than anybody else or any better than anybody else. It's just that I'm using the equipment I use. I also take a lot of photographs. I am an amateur photographer, so I will also um, do that. Now, talking of which, my battery's just well, I'm sorry about that little interruption. Um, I must remember that next time I do a colour and chat to make sure the battery's charged up properly. So we've had a couple of stops then. Uh, sometimes um, the camera seems to overheat so it stops the um, video from playing, so um, recording. So that's what's happened. Uh, and then of course the battery ran out. So yeah, good job. I've got plenty of spares, isn't it? Now let's be honest. Um, I'm gonna go back now to her pants. There's a lot of blue on this picture and I haven't even started the sky yet. I haven't got the blue out of the sky yet. Um, but there we go. So I'm just going to do underneath here. and But I'm going to make it uh, a bit darker as well. So. so anyway, yeah. I think people should use what they're happy using. Um, when it comes down to it. It's your money, so spend your money on what you're happy getting. I mean, I love buying um, colouring books and supplies. I would love to own the whole binds. Um, and uh, I don't think they're over expensive. It's, it's just the initial outlay. When you think about it, it's like two pound, uh, two to three pounds a pencil, which is expensive, but it's not horrifically expensive. It's like I always say, say to Paul, if I've bought something like the Prisma colours, which I got for £86, and they're actually less than that, and they're down a tenner again. I said, that's less than a pound a pencil. It's about 50 pence a pencil, just over, which you can't go wrong. The only problem I have with Prisma colours, and don't get me wrong, I love using them, is it's very hard to get open stock in the UK. You can. I've recently found a website that does do open stock Prisma colours for real cheap well, not real cheap, but cheaper than Amazon. Because um, when you get them from Amazon, they import them from the States and they're like three pounds a pencil, which I guess would be about five, six dollars. Um, I now found somewhere that does do some of them for, I think they're one pound something, one pound 35, one pound 50, something like that. Um, they also do the Derwent Color Softs. They don't have the whole range. That's the only problem. Uh, they, you know, so for instance, my Tuscan Red, I've used a lot of, because I used it on, um, the Jade Summer Cinderella book and there's not much of that left but I, they don't seem to carry that open stock so it's very annoying hopefully though they are looking to increase their their colours I think they're called Rainbow Art Supplies or something I'll look them up I'll have to look them up and 
if I remember I'll link them down below as well for you UK peeps who use Prismacolors and are thinking oh, I can't get them open stock. So for, they also do polychromos, um, but those I can get open stock. I can get those open stock in Hobbycraft for £1.80. They're a bit cheaper on the website, but then you've got to pay postage. But the postage is £2.50 for, I think, for unlimited amount of pencils, so it's not too bad. And they do package them really well. So I will be, when I need to, which isn't soon. I mean, I've done loads of colouring, but I haven't worn out a lot of my pencils. I mean, as you can see, even like this one which is my uh, indigo blue it's still not halfway used and I will get I will get an extender but obviously when it gets quite short I will I don't want that one I will start replacing them with um, open stock but I would probably wait until I've got about uh, five or six of them to order so 10 or 20 pounds worth of uh, pencils to get in one go I don't know how long this video is. I think I'm about uh, 30 minutes or so. The only reason being is because the camera turned itself off and then of course I had to change the battery. So I'm not actually sure, but uh, we haven't done that much. When you look at it, so far all we've done is uh, Hamish's skin and the pants. I feel so silly saying the pants, but there you go, they are the pants. So, there we are. So I don't normally like to have more than one picture on the go. I have got a couple that I haven't finished, that are whips, and I haven't finished them for various reasons, I, you know, just me being lazy. I've got one in the Jade Summers Mermaid book. And it is literally just me being lazy. I've just got the clouds to do and the man's shirt as well as the uh, decorations in the mermaid's hair. And it's just me being lazy. I will try and finish that soon. But obviously this one we're going to do together from beginning to end. It might take us a few weeks. But uh, yeah. Just because of the, um, it does take a, you do spend a lot, I mean this is colouring quite quickly, but it does take a lot of time to colour a picture. I mean I spent, probably spent about two hours on that bit of inky, Ivy and Inky Butterfly yesterday. And I haven't finished the first, the, the title page. But um, it is fun. It's something I can sit and I can do it in front of the TV, it's not too... I find it relaxing. I can listen to an audiobook. I can watch YouTube videos. I can watch a movie. I can listen to music. I mean, like I said last year when I started colouring, this time last year, what I would do is I would... I hate football or soccer, as you call it in the States, but I hate it. I'm not, I'm not a big sporty person anyway, I'm not going to lie, I don't do, I'm, I'm not. I like the Winter Olympics which are on next year and I'm really looking forward to being able to sit and watch those, but things like um, football, rugby, soccer, nah, I can take it or leave, I can leave it. I don't mind athletics and things like that, but uh, um, Paul used to sit there and, and watch the football on, on Sky Sports and rather than me go upstairs and watch something on, a, on DVD in the bedroom I would put on an audiobook and I would listen to that audiobook sitting next to him while uh, colouring. Now I haven't done that because Paul hasn't been watching the football so we got rid of Sky Sports but there may be some internationals coming up that will be on normal TV um, what we call terrestrial television over here. So there may be something on that he'll want to watch. And in, if there is, unless I want to catch up with a load of YouTube videos, what I'll do is I will sit with him 
and I will watch the, well, I won't watch the football. I'll pop an audio book on and I'll just sit there and with my lap tray and I'll just sit there and colour for 90 minutes or so while the football's on. He doesn't always watch it. If he's got work the next day, he doesn't always watch it all. because he, he you know it can be on quite not late in the evening but he does a lot of not a lot of traveling but he works in Cardiff Bay and it takes him about an hour to get there and now back on the trains the trains are always really hot they're really packed they're not they're not brilliant I'm not gonna lie Oops, something fell on the floor I think it was a pencil case um, so he gets very exhausted so he um, tends to just go to bed as soon as he feels tired whereas me I, I, I drive he doesn't drive so I drive to work and it takes me at the moment it, it depends on what time of day you're traveling but between 15 and 20 minutes normally to get home from Newport, from where I work. In the rush hour, I have had days when it's taken me 40 minutes to go, um, not even a mile down the road, but it's not too bad, normally. So I, I'm lucky. So I go to bed a lot later than Paul. I certainly did when I was off ill because or if I'm on a late shift so for next week although I won't be filming or I'll be trying not to film I'll just be uploading films uh, videos I've already made I won't be going to bed till about nearly midnight because I won't be getting up till eight o'clock in the morning because I don't start till ten so I don't need to so it's it's just but I tend to catch up on my YouTube then Paul goes to bed. I put them on, unless I uh, put them on the big TV. I've usually got my phone by me as well, so that if I want to comment, I can just pull up that video and comment on it as well. I'm not going to do all of that, but I'm just going to do that. So, how is our knack? That is our knack, Mac Fiegel. We are on about 40 minutes, I think. So I'm not gonna to do too much more today. I don't really wanna start any of the big sections. Um, just simply because we, we'd have, we'll have to stop and leave it. Um, I'm just trying to think, what should we do for the roses? Let's have a look. Where's my color soft chart? There is actually a color called rose. So I'm gonna use that, which is C100. If I can find it, there it is. Just on the other side, excuse me while I just try and get it out. The other side of blood orange. So we'll add a bit of colour that's not blue to this picture, shall we? <laughs> Obviously there's going to be green. There's going to be sort of a gingery red colour for the hair. I'm not going to use the rose on it, but... Um, so I'm just going to... It's quite difficult because I can't actually... I'm a lot further off than I would normally be. Um. <laughs> but yes, that's a bit of colour. So as you can tell, I just ramble when I'm uh, talking about any any old nonsense, any thing I can think of. I mean. I talked to you about TV programs, but I really, really don't watch TV very much. And I'm not actually joking, I don't. Um, I know like, for instance, Anne uh, Chapman and things, and I, I don't watch them. I've never been really one of those people who sits and watches a lot of television. I have it on, and there are certain programs I do like to watch, but I'm not big on series. So, for instance, I don't watch any of the, what we call the soaps. So, you know, like Coronation Street in the UK, um, Emmerdale, EastEnders. I used to. I used to watch EastEnders when I was in college and school. 
but I don't like, I mean, I know we live in a modern world where you can record things and I do record a lot of TV stuff. Um, just not soaps. Um, I don't like being pulled into having to watch five episodes of this program a week because that's when they're on. Um, Neighbours, used to watch Neighbours and Home and Away. I haven't watched anything like that for ages. If I'm at my mum's having dinner and it's on, then it's fine. But I don't religiously watch anything. Um, for instance, I, I like Holby City, I like Casualty. If it's on, I'll watch it. I watched Holby the other night. I haven't watched it for months. Um, I did watch the last series of Doc Martin. I recorded that and watched it. Watched it and watched it. Reason being is I do love Cornwall and it's set in Cornwall. They film it in Port Isaac and I have been there. So, and the pub that's featured in it they actually film in the real pub and I've been in there and I've sat on the, the balcony which they use quite a lot. So I like that because it's somewhere I know. Another one they, that was Dr. Foster. We never watched the end of it. I've still got to watch the end of that. Um, with Saran Jones. That was filmed in a place I used to live and that was a place called Hitchin in Hertfordshire. It's where I went to drama school. Um, so for me it was exciting to watch because I recognised a lot of the places so when she's sitting on top of a hill I, I know exactly where she is. When she was talking to this young girl that was uh, uh, friends with her son I know exactly where she is and I was amazed to see that a shop I used to shop in is still actually there. So uh, yeah I mean I, I, I must admit I watch more I watch more documentaries and things rather than um, I watch documentaries more than TV series is so I'm more likely to discuss Blue Planet 2 with you or, a book, or something on Ancient Egypt than I am uh, uh, The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones never seen an episode never seen an episode don't want to either why? Well, just never appealed to me. I've read the book, Game of Thrones, the book, and I am reading my way through A Song of Ice and Fire, but I've never actually um, watched an episode of Game of Thrones. And I, I, and I would, I, it's just the way I am. I'd rather go to the theatre than sit and watch TV. So if I am watching TV, I missed one. Here it go. That one? No. That one. Um, I'm more likely to be watching YouTube than anything else. And I'm not lying, I am more likely to be watching um, some of your videos if you make videos like some of the people I read like, uh, watch like Missy the Binge Reader over, you know, I like watching her and obviously reading with Pugs and um, Grace Van Secker at Grace's Current Corner, Colourful Life, um, Booktubers, I, I like to watch Steve Donahue, I like to watch, like I said, I said that, Binge Reader, Hannah Tay, all various uh, Booktubers that I do like to watch. Um, I also watch a lot of photography channels. Um, so I watch Asriel Knight, Matt Day, um, Travis Maltz at oh, the Forest, Film, uh, Forest Hills Film Lab. Uh, I watch loads of them. There's just so many that I watch. It's unreal. Because I have so many hobbies and I do get very... into them and it will it will change so um i may be mad on the coloring thing for like a month and then you might not see anything coloring wise from me because i've gone on to photography or i've gone on to more reading um i've always had a lot of hobbies and a lot of interests i go to the theater i'm involved in the theater so there's all that as well so 
if you're just here for just colouring, it's not always going to be colouring. There may be something photographic. There may be something theatrical. They will be definitely books. Um, Marilyn, obviously I collect Marilyn books and stuff. Not so much the stuff anymore, but uh, I still collect books and things like that. So you'll get stuff like that on here. Um, but I won't... think about it, you know, what else we're going to do because it's it's going to depend on what sort of mood I'm in. Oh dear, I'm getting hungry because it's nearly tea time. Well, it's gone tea time. But I do have a lovely load of stew that my mum has made for me. Let me just pull this in so you can actually see what I'm doing. Because, yay! You can see my colour softs everywhere and I have to put them back in a bit. So I'm just colouring in these straps that he's got here. So while I do love my colouring, and I really do, I may not always be colouring, if that makes sense. I may want to um, make a video about how to shoot with my Rolleiflex, or you know how to load the Rolleiflex, because the Rolleiflex T is different to a normal Rolleiflex when you load it. There's a slight difference, so. It took me ages to figure that out because I couldn't find a tutorial on how to lo load the T. It was only the normal Rolleiflex, which is a different model. Um, I have noticed that the videos that tend to get the most views are the Marilyn related ones, but as much as I love Marilyn, and believe me, I do, I think she's fantastic. She was a great actress, beautiful. But Marilyn isn't the be-all and end-all of my life. So there's more to my life than Marilyn. So you won't only get Marilyn videos. You won't even get current videos. You won't get book videos. You'll get a mixture of everything because I have a load of hobbies. So yeah, so this is another 20 minutes. I know I've done 20 minutes, so we're nearing on an hour, if not already there. So I'm just going to finish off this strappy belty thing. There we go. I know we haven't done much. I was hoping we'd do a bit more. We've had a good chat though, which has been nice. I'm just making sure that the edges of his belt are more defined. We have had a good chat and a catch, nice catch up. But we're going to leave that there. For now, hang on, just do that bit. That's it. And there, sorry. So there we are. That's how much we've done of our Nack McFeagle picture. Hamish, so we've done a nice bit. It's not, there's a lot to go yet. We're going to leave that there for tonight and i am going to go and have some dinner and then on monday we will carry on with this we will um do his gloves and his hair and the sky and we'll we'll chat again so i hope you've enjoyed this if there's anything you particularly you want me to do or you want to see on the channel just leave me a comment below and of course i will see if i can accommodate your request obviously it depends on what it is you want and uh, <laughs> at time constraints but hopefully I'll be having more time to do certain things soon yeah yeah so just leave me a comment if there's anything you particularly want to see me do or see me colour you've seen the books I've got if you just let me know I will see what I can do for you but I will see you all very soon with another colour and catch up uh, when we will continue with our Nack McFeagle so 